Phil, firstly, thanks for seeing us here today at BDL. Let's start this journey talking about this application here because it's, it's a pretty industrial part that you're making here on your Hass yeah. machines. What is it? It's um, a nut splitter, it's called. So. And what, what material is it and what are, you, what are you actually doing to it? What's the manufacturing process? Okay, it's made from EN24T um, and we turn them and then mill them um, and then, yeah, that makes the finished part. So all, all of the milling operations is done here on your VF2, isn't it? That's I mean, it's quite, it's quite, a, quite a difficult application, this one. There's a lot of machining in this, correct? There is, yes. Yeah. Um, nearly hour and three quarters worth of machining in the whole job, so, yeah. And just on the, on the top part here, are you, you drilling that out? Yeah, we are, yeah. Straight down with a U-drill and then a boring, a boring bar as well, boring head. And is this VF2 dedicated to this particular application? It is, yeah. It runs, it runs this type of job most of the time, 80% of the time. Okay, so this is the fir first part of, uh, of a series of parts that go together in one product. In it. So let's move to the other machines and have a look at those. So moving round here, Phil, this machine is one of your first Hass machines you purchased, wasn't it? And can you pick this application up and just show us and, and maybe show it to camera and tell us what, um, what you're actually doing with this on this Hass machine and what it is? Uh, this is abrasive steel plate and we're cutting out the profile and the uh, round bores in the middle all to size in uh, one hit. And it's all part of the same, when it all goes together, isn't it? It's the, it's the same, um, same, goes, same family of, of products. That's correct, yeah, hydraulic tooling. So. And quite hard to machine? Yeah, very tough. Um, tough abrasive material, about 45 Rockwell, so yeah. And how, how are you, is it a combination of good tooling and the machine that get you, you know, what you need out of this? Yeah, that's right, yeah. The, um, the, tool, the uh, carbide um, tool cutters and um, yeah, the machine, so. And then behind us here, this is quite, uh, quite neat here because this was, was this your first entry into five axis with Hass? It was, yeah, the, um, the Trunion on a 3S, 3SS, so and yeah. Again, once again, difficult materials, part of the same family of parts? Yeah, same family of tooling, it's um, EN24T again and finished complete off the five axis. How, how did you first, with this being your first five axis machine, how did you find the, um, the movement into this, into this type of machining? Uh, fairly smoothly, we got a lot of help from our um, CAD guys and also a lot of help from Haas as well, so yeah, it was, it was good. Now I know that one's certainly an older machine and this is, this is not as old as that, but you've got some newer ones, so let's go yeah. and have a look at those in the uh, turning cell. And you've got, it's quite evident you've got a really good mix of uh, turning machines as well here from Haas, haven't you? This is your latest, what's this one? It is, yeah, it's an ST15. It's a small footprint machine, but it can still take um, two inches at the board. You've got two inch board capacity. Yeah. With this being one of the latest machines from Haas, do you notice any difference on the performance of the machines or the speed of the machines uh, yeah. with the latest technology? Yeah, it's a bit quicker we find, so yeah, it helps, helps to get the finish on the smaller parts that we do. When I open the door on this machine, it becomes very evident to me that you're just turning. What's your beliefs on turning and, and doing milling on the same machine? Yeah, I'm not a fan of, of doing both. I'd rather have two machines next to each other that are um, doing the same amount of work in half the time. And this machine here was part of a three machine order, I believe? It was, yeah. We had um, the UMC and the uh, VF2 SS with the trunnion on it. So. Right, let's look at some of the, uh, the bigger Hasslades. So you've now here, you've got two ST35s. For, so we looked at the 15, you've also got 20s and 30s STs yeah. from Hass. Why the machines of this size? Uh, just for the bigger parts that we make and it gets the, gets the stock off a lot quicker than the smaller ones. Uh, this is an example of something you would do here on these ST35s? Yeah it is, it's a stainless steel job and um, we turn it complete on these. So. As, as a business, what's your mix on turning and milling, just out of interest? Um, probably about half and half, but a lot, a lot of the stuff is turned and milled as well, so it's not just either or. We've looked at turning, now let's go and look at the rest of the milling shop, including your new 5 axis. Okay. So Phil, this has got to be one of the most exciting parts of the tour today. This is your yeah. brand new UMC 750. You bought this as part of a, uh, a three machine package, didn't you, from Haas. Yeah, right. this, this has really sort of uh, opened new, new markets for you, filled a gap in what you, you can do now, hasn't it? It has, yeah, it's um, improved productivity. What, what would you say about this UMC uh, five axis? Because you do have other five axis machines from Haas with trunnion tables. What's the fundamental difference for you? Um, this one fits uh, bigger tools on and also it seems to be a little bit faster as well in its movements. And this part here, tell us about this, how you're making it and how you were making it and what the improvements have been. 
yeah, this part, we turn one end, drill some holes in it, then hold it, and we finish it completely on this five axis now. So it comes off, comes off complete. So from four or five operations down to three, and it's half the time cycle. So you've reduced the cycle time by 50%. Yeah. What, what, you've got to make these parts correctly. What, what are you machining to here, Phil? What's the, what do you need to achieve? Uh, fairly tight tolerances, plus or minus 50 microns all over. What do your operators think of this machine as well when it comes to the differences between the other Haas machines you've got? Has it given them a, a bit, bit of a new lease of life, a bit of a challenge as well? It definitely has, yeah. They're, um, they're up for it, though. They're, they're rising to the challenge and getting on really well. And what options did the machine come with, Phil? Uh, it come with the tool probing, um, the swarf conveyor, the high-speed spindle, and the look-ahead machining. When, when, you talk, when we talk to other engineers, some of the things they like about these machines as well, these UMC 750s, is the loading, getting into the machine, easy to set parts, uh, the, the work shift element, also the visibility through the door. Are they things that, that you like as well, as well as the fact it's in a pretty small footprint, isn't it? Yeah, they're very, very good user-friendly machine. All the guys are happy with it. And going from programming a machine where you had a two-axis table on a three-axis to programming a machine on here, is it a big step? Is it a big, big leap or is it straightforward? Um, it's not been too bad. We've had a lot of support from the guys at Haas and our CAD guys too. And that leads me on to concluding this, Phil. Haas for you, is it 17 machines you got here? That's right, yeah. Yeah, 17. That, 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 that's, some, uh, that's some level of commitment to a machine tool supplier that you've demonstrated. Why is that? Um, basically, the service support that they've provided, they've provided us with. Um, we had something go wrong and they were here the next day. The parts were on their van and it was fixed. So. And I suppose with the breadth of their range, there's not a lot they can't offer you, is there? We've seen today machining centres, turning centres, now five axis. You've got a, a complete Haas package here. It's, it's almost like a, a Haas showroom in some ways, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. Thanks for your time today, Phil. Thank you. Thank you.